creepy. Scientists have identified a fungal pathogen that hijacks hapless fruit flies and puppeteers them to their death. New UC Berkeley research has found that when the Entomophthora musca fungus infects fruit flies, it infiltrates the nervous system early on. The insect is relatively unaffected while the fungus feeds off its fat stores but begins acting abnormally once the pathogen invades and destroys its organs. Eventually, the fly is forced to climb to an elevated spot where the fungus grows out of its proboscis and sticks the insect to whatever surface it's on, cementing it in place. The fly is made to raise its wings to a 90-degree angle before dying, allowing new spores to be ejected from its exposed abdomen to infect new hosts. The existence of the fungus, whose scientific name means destroyer of insects, has been known for over a hundred years. Similar pathogens exist that hijack ants and aphids, but scientists have yet to figure out exactly how. The Berkeley researchers are especially curious about how the puppet master fungus gets the fly to override survival instincts and climb to its death and are now focusing their efforts to uncover the answer. So many bugs! You'll never go to sleep again without thinking about a centipede in your ear. What has a hundred legs and shouldn't be crawling around in your ear canal? A centipede! Fourteen-year-old Arkansas resident Grant Body pulled this thing out of his ear. That's right, it's a freaking centipede! Grant went to bed the other night with an irritating pain in his ear. All night long, the critter crawled around inside Grant's eardrum, causing abrasions and what must have been, to say the least, a pretty awful night. The next morning, Grant felt something wriggling, so this brave young man reached into his ear, grabbed the centipede by the tail, and slowly pulled the four-inch multi-legged insect out of his own ear. They threw the still-living creature in a plastic bag before stopping by Saline Memorial Hospital, where doctors told him there was a bit of damage, but all in all, his ear was going to be okay. Hear, hear! The body family speculates the creature might have crawled into Grant's ear while he was swimming. So now you have a reason to be terrified of centipedes and swimming. Damn, that's a big bug! Would you have just freaked the bleep out? Or can you keep your cool like this Grant dude? <laughs> so yucky. This'll make your skin crawl. Peri planta americana, the American cockroach. These pests can be found in sewers, walls, beds, floors, cereals, and all sorts of nooks and crannies. And going by a video from electronic repair experts Tronics Fix, they also nest inside PlayStation 4s. According to Gizmodo, who spoke to several repairmen about the problem, it's more common than you'd expect. And before all you PS4 haters begin your trolling, it's worth mentioning cockroaches have been found in other consoles as well, okay? But the PS4 is apparently choice accommodation, as the vents are ideally located for the bugs to come and go as they please. The power supply is warm enough to keep the bugs feeling toasty. They do eventually get zapped by the inner workings of Sony's console, but then their corpses and poop melt into the hardware. Apparently, the roaches nest, grow up, poop, mate, have babies, which then themselves all grow up and mate and have babies and poop. And this insect orgy poop and death cycle goes on and on until your PS4 just can't take the horror anymore and taps out. What's worse is that Sony reportedly won't repair bug-ridden PS4s, but several independent repairmen like Tronics Fix will. Swarm of flying cockroaches descends on New York City. The summer weather always brings a buzz around New York, but this year's scorching hot temperatures are attracting more than just fun-loving humans. With 90 degree humidity cloaking the city, American cockroaches are spreading their wings. When the heat turns up, the cockroaches move around a lot more to keep cool. Moisture leaves their bodies and frees up a second pair of wings that typically aren't activated. The cockroaches don't actually fly though. To put it more accurately, they glide, descending from above one city block at a time. To the people on the ground below, it's hardly a welcome development. However it is that they are getting around, most New Yorkers still hate them all the same. Ah, the pitfalls of a city littered with refuse. Ew, that's gross. Fox News reports a makeup artist and an influencer posted a video on social media claiming she found hundreds of maggots in her hotel room in San Francisco. Haley Johnson said she and her partner just checked into the hotel when she noticed something that looked like a tic-tac on the floor. She took a closer look and realized it wasn't a tic-tac, but a maggot, and the bathroom floor was littered with them. She and her partner rushed downstairs to the front desk to inform them the room was completely infested. 
The front desk offered to move them to another room, but refused to give them a refund. Johnson and her partner insisted they get a refund, which is when the manager demanded the couple check out immediately. Johnson said she and her partner then informed the police, who agreed it was a health hazard but were unable to step in to resolve the issue. Johnson took to social media instead to share the story and told her followers to call and complain, after which the hotel received a ton of negative reviews. According to Mercury News, Johnson got what she wanted, and the hotel apologized to them and finally gave them a refund. Are the bugs part of the in-flight entertainment? The only thing worse than a long plane ride is a long plane ride with bed bugs, as passengers of multiple flights from New Jersey to India found out. Air India had received complaints about the bugs in business class seats, but apparently ignored them last week. The Hindustan Times reports one man complained that the business class seats he and his family were sitting in during their 17-hour flight from New Jersey to Mumbai were infested with bed bugs. Because of the bed bugs, the family was later moved to economy but had to deal with broken tables and TVs. Another passenger said he could see bed bugs crawling around on the seats. More complaints keep coming as another Air India passenger tweeted that his wife and three kids flew business from Newark to Mumbai and are now suffering bug bites all over their body. Last Thursday, a Mumbai-bound Air India flight was grounded because multiple passengers, including an eight-month-old baby, had allegedly suffered bug bites during the flight. Air India later said the aircrafts in question have been fumigated and seat covers and other hardware have been replaced. Meanwhile, NJ.com reported that the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey said the airline has not received reports of bed bugs in the terminal or other parts of the airport. U.S. cities experiencing influx of new residents. Bed bugs. Everything is on the up and up in the U.S. You can't deny that. The numbers coming out of the bed bug sector are especially strong and should continue to climb. Baltimore has ranked number one on Oregon's annual Top 50 Bed Bug Cities list for a second straight year. Baltimore was followed by Washington, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Columbus. Bed bug numbers were reduced after World War II, but have since made a comeback due to increased traveling, regulatory restrictions on insecticides such as DDT, and tolerance to organic pesticides. One research firm found that the bed bug control industry was worth around 611.2 million U.S. dollars in 2016, with some analysts estimating industry revenue could hit 1 billion in five years. According to one report, hotels spend on average $6,383 per bed bug incident, which includes the replacement cost for soft goods, treatment, and lost business.